Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again, and today we're going to be looking at Ultravox with Vienna, a recommendation made by Patreon subscribers. I should check it out, and that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm looking forward to this reaction um, official video, um, and I'm looking forward to this. 1980. Uh, uh, yes, so uh, here we go. Let's get right to it, guys. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. It makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Ooh, I like that. Interesting sounds. Walked in the cold air. Ah. Freezing breath on the window pane, lying waiting. Interesting. You hear you're hearing the synth. It's like a it almost sounds like a howling, a howling, a synth in the back there. Um very, very ghostly sounding. Um coming in. It sounds like it's coming in stronger now. Distant, distant in the beginning, and now it's coming in stronger. Um, I like that. I like how experimental these sounds are. This is so. This is so me. I love this stuff. Um, industrial. I know you guys are like, oh, here we go again. And he's gonna say industrial, but but you know what I mean though. Like those 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 sounds, almost like they're they're hitting um, like using environmental sounds and 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 things and just creating them out of out of what have you. You know, like you know things and stuff like that. So I like that. Weird video, but I like it because it kind of sets up the mood. Um, intrigued, intrigued. Uh. A man in the dark in the picture frame, so mystic and so blue. Oh. A scent, it's like. A voice reaching out in a piercing cry, it stays with you until. Look at that. Oh my god! This means nothing to me. Wow! Incredible! It sounds like there's now a keyboard arrangement there. Um <laughs> oh my god. It, it his voice is incredible. It it has I could just imagine this thing live, how how this thing would sound live. Just him kind of singing in the microphone and just yelping, um, you know, just you know, singing through like that, you know, extend, extending, uh, extending his voice and projecting it out like that. It's just amazing. I like that. It came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting him to sing, to sing in that kind of manner. Um, interesting. That sound, by the way, it's kind of like drum like. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to label it as a, as a synthetic drum because that's what it sounds like. So it's very interesting. Um, I like, I like what we're getting here that with a keyboard arrangement specifically too. Oof. Oh, the switches. Oh, I like it. piano. The music is weaving. Oh. Hunting notes, pizzicato strings, the rhythm is calling. Oh. So good. Okay, everybody looks at the camera. Oh. And we have some violins here. 
kind of like silent though silent you don't really hear them you hear more kind of like the the piano and that steady kind of steady uh drum machine which is very very prominent it's like a jump drum pattern that is continuous and it stays in that same kind of like uh rhythm all throughout all throughout the song and it's probably a very a base of uh, kind of like the basis of the song um if you if you notice it's as it's very prominent i'm getting eyes wide shut themes um with this uh, video uh and i like it i kind of like that kind of like dark 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 and kind of like it's strange because it has this kind of like sexual undertone but it's like a tension um uh, but it, but it's but it's really not explicit about it it's kind of like underlying and i like that the synth is amazing guys it's so good because it's very very faint it's not um it's not so strong um but i like it i like it and I like the piano how it came in nicely too I love that. Oh. When it goes high like that. Oh my god. Sustain. Sustain. There's that scent. Oh. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Get the heck out of here. Oh. Oh my god. So things switch up out of nowhere. Switch gears out of nowhere. Holy bananas, my god. They switch gears. We're getting, um... <laughs> We have the synths. We have those drums. That nice kind of like solo part. It almost seemed like this was a, cla a, a came, it was a, like a two part type of song where it's like classical and and, and synthy. And now we're getting more kind of like classical infused uh, sound sounds with strings coming in heavy, more heavy now. Um, did not expect that transition to take place at all. I thought we were gonna kind of stay in there. It was good the way it was. I mean, now get now it even got better. Now it even got better. But it, it's so dramatic in, in in the transition, so dramatic that uh, I almost lost all you know all all, all all my marbles and then some. Um, and I got I got really excited. So we're getting kind of like this intermittent part with this instrumentation that's making this so grand and i love when he yells like that when he goes up and the chorus comes and the piano matches his his uh his tone it's great ah. 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 It slows down. Oh my god. This is incredible. Oh my god. How dramatic is that? I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. So dramatic. So dramatic. And then the, the synth in the back. Oh, it fades away. The synth. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Um, these guys are amazing. They're amazing. And they're, they deserve more and more attention. They deserve more and more attention. Now I know why you guys have been screaming on top of your lungs for me to react to them. Um, from, from, from way back when you guys been, been asking me and I kind of been putting it in my list and kind of like been t like tucking it away and bring it back, bring it back. Uh, be <laughs> but, uh, you can thank a Patreon subscriber for saying, you know what, let's push this. Let's get this, let's get this going. And I'm glad I got to it finally. 
there's so much to talk about this, and um, I don't know why. I was thinking about Freddie Mercury and Queen. Um, why well, I don't I don't know. I, I think it's because when when I when I hear the piano and I hear projection, um, especially specifically a male voice in that kind of matter, I think of him. I think of him, and um, I know I know that um, that that Queen takes classical bits and and infuses them into their rock into their rock music and 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 their songs but this is what we saw here too at the same time they took classical pieces a uh, classical instrumentation and 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 production and included it into the into their music into their song and their song here with vienna um because they're even though they're known for being a synth pop group are they yeah i think they are synth synth pop or or um it just has it has those elements it has those elements and there there are all these little intricate parts of the song um that are in pieces if if you can if you can think about it you can divide them maybe you can divide them into three how in the beginning it's just very synthy and very faint and you just hear the drums industrial environmental oh, and then his voice comes in with the piano and creates dramatics creates dramatics then we get the intermittent break with just him and the piano going at it very nicely, by the way. And we see some shots him in, in a in an, in an auditorium or some kind of theater. And then we get you know some some dancers and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, strings come to an attack, right? They come to the attack with more classical influence. But then it comes back down. It comes back down, and then you get more synths and more of him singing and him more projecting his voice. And the simplicity in the song with lyrical ly ly lyrical delivery is is so good because it's all about the the instrumentation that's driven, um, and his voice too, which is really good. The video was good, pretty good too. It was very fascinating. Um, it was a little weird in the beginning, eerie, eerie in the beginning, very ghostly, um, but then it starts building up into into something, and you kind of got kind of get you know the overall sense. This is '80s guys, so you know uh, this is how things are things were done back then so let's get into it guys i got really excited i lost my pants and my marbles um 1980 uh british new wave band ultravox new wave guys it's a new wave um and their third single from their band's fourth album vienna uh on 9th january 9th of january um 1981 there you have it from 1974 and this is where things get a little confusing to 1979 singer john fox was a front man and the main driving force behind Ultravox. But then Fox left the band in 1979 to embark her solo career. Should I should I look into it? Should I look into it, guys? Let me know, let me know. Midge Ur took over as lead singer, guitarist, and frontman um, October 1979 after he and the keyboardists Billy Curry worked on the studio project Visage. Um, and Ur uh, re revitalized the band and steered it into more com commercial chart success, lasting until 1988, which also became the group, which was at the time where the group got kind of like disbanded. So a lot of stuff happened. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, by the way. Midge Ur or Yor or you, you have to help me out, guys. Uh, <laughs> a new lineup by Curry was formed in 1982, but achieved limited success. With two albums failing to chart and one solitary single, solitary single reaching ninety in the UK, so that brief moment with Midge was was spectacular. It was spectacular, um, as you can see. So, um, how did this thing chart, guys? Well, it spent four consecutive weeks number two in the UK singles chart without ever getting to number one, and it kept off the number one spot by John Lennon's "Woman" um, for a week. Uh, so this is so interesting, guys. Every time I do a reaction, um, the, 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 there's always someone, um, that, that I've reacted to previously or, or I'm going to react to in, uh, the, uh, in another person's reaction. And for some reason that always happens. Like John Lennon, I just reacted to his, uh, you know, happy Xmas war is over, right? And now, now look at this. Now he's into the, now he's in, and it's just goes to show you how many, um, how many singers and songs intertwine and 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 circulate, uh, you know, everywhere? So interesting to know. A little side side thing. I just got. I just thought of it. Came to my head. Um, and then Joe Dulce's uh, "Shut Up, 
your face uh, for further three weeks. Vienna is ranked as the fifth best selling, selling UK single for 1981 and was certified gold by British phon phonographic industry, industry in the year February 1981. So there you go. The single peaked at number one on four, top 40 European charts, including Netherlands, Belgium, and Ireland. And it also won single of the year in 1981 Brit Awards. And they performed this song live in 1985 Live Aid. How ironic is that? Oh my God. That's the, that's the same. Um, that's where Freddie. <laughs> that's where Queen did, performed too uh, for Live Aid. I, I, it was 85, yeah. So that's so weird. That's so weird. Oh my God. I, I did not know that. So there you have synth pop synth pop but they're categorized as a new wave and yes i can you can get that because it's very experimental it's very very experimental um i cannot get over these sounds dramatics pianos um dramatic pianos synthesizers all those things all those things even, even the violins that were i think they were generated by a synth too i don't even think they were they were uh they were actually, um, they, they were just, they were synth, synth classical influence, like merging, merging, merging the two. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Um, so here we go. So let's get into the meaning. The lyrics are about a brief love affair in the city of Vienna, which were written quickly by, um, by Midge. According to Curry, uh, uh, Ur was uh, hesitant about the overlay classical romantic feel of the orchestration. There you go. Uh, this means nothing to me, to which the producer Curry, Kenny uh, Plank replied, Well, sing that then, he said. And then urged, er, er, Yor uh, said uh, that he had in his mind only the line, The feeling is gone. This means nothing to me. Oh, Vienna. And he went that way in the studio. Oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. It goes to show you. It goes to show you. Then he wrote the vocal part on a bass player with Chris Cross, started playing some bass line uh, with his synth synthesizer. In an interview at the time, it was said that the song took an inspiration from the 1948 film The Third Man, which was based in an Austrian capital, but Midge Ur later admitted that he made up that made that up when he was asked what the song was about. So there you have it. Um, and he said that, it, that supposedly he said that it was influenced by the Walker Brothers 1978 single The Electrician. Interesting, interesting to know. So yeah, so you you hear you see all these different things happening in this video. Very interesting. I know I said that it had it resembled um, uh, Wise Wise White Shut, but it had it kind of had those eerie feels, eerie, eerie feels. Whenever I hear I see a gathering that that kind of has like costumes and stuff like that, and 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 these sexual like kind of like undertones. Even though this one didn't have sexual undertones, but it almost felt like it was going to. You know, um, I always think of that movie for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. This was very, very, uh, very interesting, and I, I and I loved it. This is gonna get my Derek reacts approved coming at you. Um, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Please give me more, uh, more recommendations like this. Um, you know, you know my tastes. You know my taste, guys. Until next time for more videos like these, please leave your comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what I have to say. Take care, guys. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment and like and smash the subscribe button. Stay on all the latest interaction videos. And, guys, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support the channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. I love you, guys. Peace.